Here's a question that's slightly far afield from the rest of the material we're covering in this class, but which is still worth asking. Does every vector space have a basis? Obviously, every finite dimensional vector space has a basis because the dimension of the vector space is the size of the basis. But what about infinite dimensional vector spaces? The short answer to that question is yes but a few comments are in order. A basis has to be linearly independent. Our definition of linear independence really only works for finite sets, so we have to slightly define or redefine linear independence. Another observation is that although a basis might exist, we cannot in general find or describe a basis. So, for example, the continuous functions have a basis, but It's impossible to describe a basis state what functions are or are not in it and so forth. Kind of an interesting situation. We know something exists, but there's no way to describe what that something is. That actually caused a significant amount of controversy in the early to middle 20th century because there was a school of mathematical philosophy called constructivism, which said that a mathematical object should only be said to exist if you can describe the mathematical object exactly. This was a major philosophy in France especially, which was a significant mathematical powerhouse at the time. And a constructivist would object to this. They'd say, well, if you can't describe a basis, then the basis doesn't exist. It's as simple as that. But constructivism is kind of per se. I think there are relatively few mathematicians nowadays who would describe themselves using that word. And most mathematicians would say that, yes, Assuming that you properly redefine linear independence, it is a theorem of linear algebra that every vector space has a basis, whether it's finite 
or infinite.